Hi everyone, it's Michelle here. Thank you so much for stopping by today and spending time with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel before and if you're wondering what it's all about, what is Older Women Rock all about? That's the name of my channel. I started Older Women Rock for ladies over 50 in particular, mature ladies if you like, so that we could break all the rules, that we could stop abiding by all the rules that have been put in place over the years for mature women. How we should dress, how we should wear our makeup, how we should wear our hair, how we should behave, <laughs> what we should do and what we shouldn't do. I was fed up with it, I'd had enough of it and I think you have had enough of that too. We don't want to be dictated to, we've earned our stripes, we've done our hard yards, I think that we can decide for ourselves. And we need to do what feels comfortable for us. We need to dress the way that makes us happy, the way that makes us comfortable, the way that we feel the best. So I started All The Women Rock to do with fashion, styling, beauty and lifestyles just to encourage us all that just because we're aging and we can age disgracefully if we want to, why not? We can be a bit wicked here and there and we can certainly break rules. We could have our own little rebellion. We could join a tribe of older women rocking and we're rocking as we're getting older because we do rock. We can keep our groove on. We can strut our stuff. We can do whatever we want because what? who says? <laughs> there is no fashion police out there. So that's why I started All The Women Rock. Now, if that sounds like you, if you'd like to be a member of our tribe and join All The Women Rock, go down below this video and hit that red subscribe button. Come on board, absolutely love to have you. I wasn't feeling the most motivated this morning, but I did what I usually do when I'm in those frames of mind. You know, you get in that frame of mind and you just, you need to push yourself a little bit along. So I got up dressed up and here I am I showed up okay so I want to get on to the video this video is a tag I don't know who started the tag in fact I don't know if it's officially a tag I saw Michelle May Zesty Girl her channel is called Zesty Girl Michelle May was doing what I assumed was a tag and it was 20 things that I can't live without 20 must-haves or 20 of my go-to's, 20 things I can't live without. And I thought, I think I'd like to do that tag. That sounds like a bit of fun. And it was only 20, so I thought I can easily come up with 20. If you're noticing that I've changed my outfit, the reason for that was not because I wanted to change my outfit, I lost half the video. I made this video a couple of days ago, and when I went to upload it, somehow accidentally I deleted the whole middle section the whole tag section actually of the video so I had to redo that part I had the beginning and I had the end so I've scribbled down at least 20 and there's probably a few more I won't even count to be honest I'll just keep rolling along so the very first one I've got is hand sanitizer yeah these days who can live without hand sanitizer I've actually used hand sanitizer for years. I, I think I'm going back almost 20 years now, no kidding. That's how long I've been using hand sanitizer. And now, of course, I'm using it more often and a lot more. And isn't everyone? Oh, these are in absolutely no particular order. Me being me, quite disorganized actually, but there's often a method in my madness. <laughs> me being me, no particular order. Scribbled them down, English breakfast tea cannot live without my English breakfast tea. Start the day with English breakfast tea and I drink quite a lot during the day and you're probably thinking that's all, three, four, five cups. I can go up to 10 cups. It's very low caffeine, this one. In fact, I could probably even go more than 10 cups. It's very low caffeine and yeah, I guess I'm a bit addicted to it anyway. Bananas. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna talk about food in general because you know, there's too many favorites when it comes to food. If I go a couple of days or more without a banana, I start to actually crave bananas. I eat at least one to two a day. So one, one reason I think that I might like bananas so much other than they fill you up, and I think they're a complete meal in themselves sometimes. I know some people avoid them because they consider them high sugar and I understand that. But for me, they work and I'm not giving them up anytime soon. What's in bananas that I might 
be needing or wanting is something called L-tryptophan. It's an amino acid. You might have heard of L-tryptophan. It's a natural amino acid and it occurs in many foods, but particularly bananas. It's very high in bananas. And L-tryptophan, I think it's converted in our brain, but it gets converted to serotonin. And you've probably all heard about serotonin. It's the feel-good hormone. It's the hormone that we need to uplift our moods. And that might be why I eat bananas so often, because I want that boost. And if you want to get L-tryptophan, you can buy it online at places like iHerb. For people that have tried melatonin and melatonin didn't work for them, melatonin um, is notorious for giving lots of people nightmares. It's, it's actually quite common with melatonin. So if you want to try something else for sleep, if you're having sleep problems, if you have insomnia or just sleep disturbances, and many of us do, myself included, you might want to try L-tryptophan. I found it works quite well, actually. Maybelline Age Rewind. I just can't seem to live without this. This concealer, because I've tried so many others. I've tried a multitude of them, and I keep going back to Maybelline Age Rewind. I think a lot of women do. They nailed it. <laughs> Maybelline nailed it when they made this Age Rewind Concealer. And the problem is for me, it's not cruelty free. I don't know how to give it up. But hair products, I might just mention the hair products all in one other than separately. For me, it's um, Redken Leave-In Conditioner. Love this conditioner, been using it for a really long time. It's called Anti-Snap. Redken Anti-Snap. It says Extreme Anti-Snap. <laughs> Well, that's what I need. That's a leave-in conditioner. I can put that in when my hair's dry. Also put it in when my hair's wet. What else have I got here for hair products? Obviously, I use frizzies type products to keep those little wiry bits down. And wow, I get quite a few of those having fly away light hair. Sometimes it's like I've had electric shock almost it's sticking <laughs> right up. I use a variety of products. John Freight is really popular with frizzies. Can't live without some sort of frizzy serum for the top of my hair. And the other thing that I've been using for quite a while now is some kind of oil in my hair. This product is a Swatchkoff product that I bought at the supermarket. It's just called Oil Miracle. <laughs> No glasses. It's called, oh, no glasses here. Six Miracles Oil Essence. Six Miracles Oil Essence Schwarzkopf Oils. There's so many different oil products that you can put in your hair these days. I put this in when my hair's wet, other than when it's dry. Um, what else can I live without? Netflix. I can't live without Netflix. Um, there's Netflix, there's Amazon, there's um, Acorn, the English one, which I watched quite a few on that particular channel, Acorn, and I really did like it. But the thing is, in Australia, we get a lot of the British TV shows and movies and series. And I don't know if you realize this, but a lot of the shows you see on Acorn are Australian as well. I'm not sure if you realize that. So for me, it was good for a little while, but I'd actually seen some of those programs and some of those movies, but I did enjoy it a great deal. I can't live without Netflix. I can't live without cotton sheets. And these are white. <laughs> they must be white because I don't really like colored sheets. I've gone complete, well, a long time ago, I went off colored sheets. I don't like dark colored sheets in particular. A thousand thread plus Egyptian, and I don't like sateen. Sateen is more commonly seen these days it's the one with the, the shine on it the cotton has a slight sheen to it i find that sateen will peel eventually most of them peel and i can't stand peeling oh natio this is a self tanner it's called sun kissed uh, sun kissed i haven't had a kiss for a while so i can't even say the word anymore <laughs> um sun kissed glow um, gradual tan from Natio, Australian company Natio, cruelty free. Love this stuff for just a little bit of color on my legs in summer. Can't live without my Natio Sun Kiss Glow Gradual Tan. Can't live without it. I mentioned this recently in a video um, calcium and vitamin D3. This is combined together, easier to take that way, but I actually take extra vitamin D as well. I have osteoporosis, so I did mention that in a video. This is something I have a love hate relationship with. It's a curling wand. I can't live without my curling wand. I've used it today, 
when I'm um, wanting to do videos in particular and my hair is so unruly it's just got a mind of its own this puts some waves in there one thing I don't like about this particular curling wand is this the clasp when you wind your hair around the wand itself and you clasp it down and you have to hold it down to firmly get the the wave happening it puts a crimp in it where this is contacting your hair it puts a crimp through it and i really dislike that so i'm going to be looking for a new curling wands i don't love curling wands they're a little bit dangerous you can burn yourself so easily wrapping your hair around them hats cannot live without hats keep a few in my car at least two in my car and have a few at home when i'm out walking i wear a hat a great deal of the time so i can't live without hats and my sunglasses cannot live without sunnies the sun here is very very bright particularly in summer and they say that people with blue eyes or fair eyes and particularly people with blue eyes and fairer skin are more sensitive to light now i don't know if that's true but i have read that several times and i'm over the years i think i've become more sensitive to bright light when i go down to the beach it's so glary i'm i find it almost impossible to see without sunglasses i couldn't manage and mine are prescription <laughs> i need them for long distance because I'm short-sighted so I can't live without sunnies. Phone. Could not live without this thing. <laughs> Who could these days? It's an iPhone. Don't ask me what series. I've actually forgotten what it is. I think it's um, 6 plus. I'm kind of a bit behind here. I need to upgrade but I'll get there. Can't live without the iPhone. My fresh herbs. Cannot live without my fresh herbs. And I've got something fresh and organic anytime I want it. Oh, here's something that I found that I couldn't deal with because I was in a situation where I had to try electric garage doors. <laughs> I moved into this old apartment block some time ago and it didn't, well, older apartment block, it didn't have an electric garage door. It had the old pull up and pull down. I found that I'd been spoiled over the years having an electric garage door and I didn't want to go back. But there's no way I can handle this um, and I didn't like it at all actually and also the same for cars I mean most cars of course these days do have electric windows and electric seating but electric windows I could not live with the old wind up wind down anymore I'm really spoilt with that as well I like electric a newer thing that I can't live without that I've discovered is a ring light for doing YouTube videos ring lights are so incredibly popular these days there'd be very few youtubers that don't have some form of a ring light and they've become a lot more economical so i don't think that i could live without a ring light while i'm doing youtube videos without them of course i could my bronzer oh yes here's a beauty product so this one is um nude by nature australian brand i'm pretty sure nude, i'm pretty sure nude by nature is australian it's my light to medium bronzer with my brush can't live without my bronzer because sometimes i don't even have time to put bb cream on or cc cream and certainly not foundation or i don't even want to so this is always really fast you know brush it on neck off you go lip balm this one's not chapstick this is um just got some on me this is bliss text but it's like a chapstick so it's got spf um, it's got SPF 50 plus actually so can't live without lip balm hoops <laughs> a pair of earrings hoops if if I was if I was told that I could only own one piece of jewelry nothing else I would choose a pair of gold hoops these aren't real gold um, I would choose a pair of gold hoops can't live without them they're my go-to earrings facial wipes absolutely cannot live without facial wipes for taking my makeup off i prefer nivea there's lots of great brands out there and i've tried a lot of them garnier and um, simple a brand called simple i prefer nivea facial wipes can't live without those definitely can't live without those i can't live without my strapless bra I can't live without a strapless bra this wouldn't be true for all women but I do wear several dresses or quite a few dresses and tops where I need a strapless bra there's nothing else I could use so I couldn't live without them and I can't live without 
what have I got here? Some sort of shapewear. I've got some shapewear. This is a skirt. This is great for skirts or dresses. And this one's an all-in-one. It's got the bra built in. It's a, like a petticoat or a slip, a slip um, one. And these are some shorts. These are shapewear shorts. So I've got to have a bit of shapewear in my wardrobe. I don't wear it that often, but when I need some shapewear, I truly need some shapewear. <laughs> so that's it. I think I actually went a little bit past 20 things that I can't live without. That's it, that's the end of the list. So that's done. And that's just something I wanted to mention to you. Recently, I mentioned in a video about paying compliments to people. How sometimes we forget or we just don't pay enough compliments. And I encouraged everybody to pay compliments to even strangers, as I said. I was thinking about this later and I thought, you know, there's one person that we don't often pay any compliments to or very few compliments to or not enough compliments to, and that is ourselves. I'm completely guilty of this. I rarely pay myself a compliment. I'm not the best at receiving compliments. I'm much better than I used to be, much better. So I'm getting good with that, but I don't pay myself enough compliments. I'm not the type of person that will tell you that I'm looking fantastic today, or I like what I've got on, or I think I'm looking great in this. I might joke around with it, but I don't say it very sincerely. I'm not very good at that and I want to change that. So if you're like me, if you haven't been paying yourself enough compliments or any compliments, let's think about changing that because I can freely give compliments to other people. I have no trouble doing that whatsoever. I totally enjoy it and it's a feedback loop. They feel good. I feel good. But to myself, I've been neglecting myself. I haven't been generous with compliments to myself. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today. I truly appreciate that. And I hope that was just a little bit of fun. 20 things that I can't live without and leave me some comments. I'd absolutely be so curious to know what are your things that you can't live without, your must haves. Please leave me comments, I'd love that. Bye bye now and have a great day.